let me just go ahead and introduce to you all the new roster that we've got going. I got started a little bit on this mod because I really hate playing through like the, uh, the really early game. So I decided to get a little bit further to get us started. So of course, we've got Mr. Craven, whom didn't really get his, who didn't really get a, much of a spotlight last time around. So I figured we're gonna bring him back. Al will be one of the only uh, original crew here for this run. He, uh, <coughs> God damn it. <coughs> Throat, please. Have mercy on me. <sighs> I'm okay. I'm fine. But yes, the main crew right now consists of Alu Steel, who is currently on a covert action, so she will not be joining us. Mr. Craven, Alo9. We also have uh, a couple of, uh, I mean, you know, of course, we got Thanos. Uh, let's see. Yes, we do have uh, Neptune joining us again. We also have some new faces, including Alexander McCormack, who will be our Akimbo for this evening. Yes, the Akimbo, the Paladin, and the Infiltrator are the only custom classes with RPG overhaul with uh, with RPG overhaul extensions that um, that uh, that I have currently installed because I really like those three classes. So yeah, we have a couple of new people in here, also including Marcus Reed, who is extremely ready to go, and he is also currently our sniper. And Mr. Ghost Lion, who help, who has been helping to put together all of the custom soldiers list. Also, Sneck is not in here at the moment, unfortunately. We are going to have to get them back. Oh, and of course, we've got Sirius Sam, who is our heavy gunner and rocketeer, because of course. And Lucia Lioness Give, Give, Gvaz. G yes, who is currently our enforcer slash stealth unit. Again, I'll show you a bit more once we actually get in there. We got a lot of people we got to level up. Also, the we we run into we had a slight complication of the fact that Ms. Alu Steel is the only medic we have. She is a shotgun medic, so she's she's a flanker and a healer. Unfortunately, she's off on a covert action. So next time we get. Uh, Next time we get a rookie leveled up, we're gonna have to get her, we're gonna have to get another medic. Uh, but anyway, I think we'll be okay. We, these are some pretty capable guys. So with that said, let's be off. Moving my memes over there. And for some reason I gave McCormack the, uh, the Moonbase Alpha Voice Pack, because why not? Also, yeah, the, uh, the primary, uh, melee weapon mod for some reason has characters doing a Naruto run. I don't know why. It just does. It also has them doing some pretty, uh, pretty flashy attack animations, as you'll see. Can we just get a mod to mute central? There's plenty. The problem is, it doesn't completely mute him. I haven't got all day. I learned this the interesting way. Um, a lot of uh, central's lines are actually hard coded into certain levels. So, like, no matter what you do, he's always talking and trying to completely mute him will actually break the game. Mr. Reed, I was about to get a, uh, eh, there's no cover there actually. Eh, right here actually. Flag left. That is actually exactly where you're going. That it will, <laughs> again, are the voice packs becoming goddamn sentient? Because that's literally what he's doing. He's flanking left. Uh, don't think we're ready to jump in just yet. Al, how's about you run yourself up here? Let's go. Yeah, just go ahead and uh, do your ninja run up to here. Normally, I don't do this sort of thing. Oh, hello. So, uh, Mr. Craven has this wonderful little ability called Pyromaniac. His fire attacks do more damage and he starts with a free incendiary grenade. Let's test it out, why don't we, after we do this. Come get some. Cause you have Sentinel, Ghost Lion. So yes, Craven, if you would not mind, start this off the right way. Well. They're all gonna die. Ooh, solid hit. Neutralized. And I think he also killed the other one. Oh, you don't like that, do ya? Yeah, that blade he's got is the right is the uh, Metal Gear Revengeance uh, weapon. So it does guaranteed four damage minimum, but it also does two additional damage to robotic units. Now that may seem overpowered, and it kind of is. Uh, uh, normally it would be, but I guarantee we're going to need it. I found the alien's memes. <laughs> I found the alien's memes. You did indeed, sir. You found them. I, I can't believe it. They were there the whole time. And then Reed. USA! You know, you have not a horrible chance to just kill this thing. Uh, do so. Through the box. And that 
is how you do it, men. And he crit because of course he did. One down. Pistol whip this poor man, McCormack. Oh, well. <laughs> Take that. I just love in the background. You see Al just pull out his goddamn wrist blade and shank the thing. M8, get up and kick some ale mouse. What he said. Here they come! The winner knows when to fight and when not to fight! Answer! Never! Stop! Fighting! Well said, Mr. Reed. Okay. Decent damage. Hey, that's not Miss. what I wanted to see. Al... Shank several bitches, please. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Drop him. There you go, Ghost Lion. Nicely done. That's why we gave you Sentinel. Just got hot in here. Well, if Craven has anything to say about it, it's probably gonna get even hotter. Okay, let's take this up the next level. Use the better flamethrower. There we go. <laughs> and it's dead. Moving my memes over there. Mr. Cormac, since pistols in the RPG overhaul mod do additional damage at point blank range, yeah, that much damage when you're dual wielding them, blast this fucker. <laughs> Oh, that just happened. A lot of the primary melee weapon attacks are anime as fuck. Well, okay then, Ghost Lion. Nailed him. You did indeed. Almost. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ghost Lion coming into his own. Oh, you poor fools. You think hiding will save you from the fire of your doom. There we yep, go. Yep, I did that. Yeah, and Perigo did that. Um. <laughs> Nobody messes with me. I would like to point out, Craven's flamethrower destroyed concrete. That's one down. You just got dominated, Fritz. And there they go. Sit. Hello, boys. So who's gonna get the kills? There we go. I... <laughs> Guys, he had four health. I think seven damage was a little bit overkill. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes. Yeah, I already have plans to. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Steady hands. Yes. Oh, we can get two abilities with you, sir. Uh, lightning hands? Yes. Both steady hands and lightning hands. He's the handyman. Oh, hang on. I forgot to... Yes, thank you. I forgot to... Forgot to assign my engineer. Commander, I appreciate you Thank you, Shen. I'm aware. I just but came I back to do that. Shut up. up. Speaking of engineer, there's another one. Let's... Setting course for the West African sector. Let's finish contact with this region first, and then we'll go for that. And just where do you think you're going? If it's a fight you're after, you better bring everything you've got. Okay, so we got the Assassin and the Hunter first. Speaking of which, I think we're likely going to be running into the Chosen next mission, so we should be- we should be ready. Alright, let's clear out the squad here real quick. Because we do have a location scout, so we can take some newer people along with us. Oh, right, your natural aptitude- okay, let me go ahead and, uh, give you a refresher if you're not familiar with the RPG overhaul mod. You both select your abilities and you upgrade your stats. Every soldier, you know how uh, every soldier gets additional AP depending on what their mental aptitude is? So you know it goes from normal to like all the way up to savant. Uh, you have mort uh, for natural aptitude, you have mortal all the way up to godlike. Lucia is a genius, is a <laughs> Lucia's combat intelligence is genius and her natural aptitude is godlike. So naturally I made her a stealth operative because why not? And uh, let's see, who else to bring along? Oh yes, Mr. Gemini, <clears throat> who uh, I want to make a skirmisher, I want to make him a skirmisher sniper but I need to get him the skirmisher ability first, and for that to happen, I need to level him up. So let's go ahead and level him up. And uh, we'll bring along Miss Gryden. Uh, now we have our actual skirmisher. Welcome back, Fenrir. I think I'll bring you along. And we're gonna need a veteran here. You know what? You know what? Thanos? Thanos, let's bring you along, boy. We're bringing you out. We're bringing out the- we're bringing out the Mad Titan. Uh, and I think on that note, we are good to go, so let's go. Menace 1-5, we're tracking the Advent General and his escorts, but we don't have an exact fix on their location. 
Sweep the area and eliminate the target along with any other hostiles that stand in your way. Don't, en don't have an exact location, Central. In the words of Mr. Cena, are you sure about that? Where are all the pods? Just those three? That's surprising. Figured there'd be more. Oh, wait. I know why there's only three. I know why there's only three. Also, yes, for some reason, the auto pistols have spray. It's kind of dumb, and I don't know why they have this. And of course, they're moving away. Of course, they're going in the wrong direction. I would really like it if uh, you would get out of my way, and I could go after the commander or the general or the big the big man in the big shiny coat. I think having Miss uh, Lucia got it covered. Continue on her way whilst the rest of the group deals with these two might be the best choice of action. How best to deal with them though? Grenade them, send them tumbling down, and hope that the fall damage will just cause the purifier to die and explode? Sounds a, sounds like a good idea to me. Boom! And down they go. Unfortunately, the purifier did not die. We're in their sights! But if our sniper's shot is true, that may change here soon. You lucky, lucky, little bitch. And then you, sir, come here. No one escapes. Now, don't stasis this. Ah, you're a bitch. Hi, Hunter, how you doing? Let's see, kinetic plating and low profile. Oh. Oh, that's a... Mmm. That's not good. His low profile increases defense after the first attack. Kinetic plating generates armor, or health rather, every time we miss them. Ouch, that's a hard combo. Don't. Snake. You stop. Snake, cease. Thank you. All right then, Lucia. Okay. Please keep them in your sight. Any moment, camera. Thank you. I could clearly see it half a year ago when you zoomed in on it. I hope you're not expecting me to go down that easy. I forgot how much this game talks. <laughs> Seth misses the silence of Subnautica. It was infinitely easier to commentate that game, I'll definitely say. Also, holy shit, we have almost 200 people here. Hunter, what are you doing? Don't make this too easy on me. I... What were... What was that, sir? Just getting some quick cardio in? Okay. <laughs> there we go. And Lucia is still safe. Please show this man the error of his ways via bullets. Okay. I have failed us! I mean, you showed him an error, but then again, we did just open up the sight line for Mr. Ace Duo, so you know what? I'll call that a victory. I would like to point out we planted a rifle tree. <laughs> oh, thought you could hide, eh? Enjoy these final breaths. That is impressive line of sight. Holy shit. Let's go ahead and track that, why don't we? That's going around the building. I think through this window, through this window, all the way. No, wait, hang on. How the fuck do you see us? <laughs> I know you can, I know you have limited, I know you can, you have limited, unlimited vision as long as you've got line of sight, but let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, yeah, no, never mind. He's he's like looking through like several windows to get to us. Okay, fair enough. And I don't want to move too far up because we're likely to draw the other group over here if we do. Although I think we just did. Shit. First of all, first do all, first of all, uh, Mr. Gemini, take yourself a shot. I didn't need you to kill it, but... Just. I almost feel bad for them. Cry. They've got no idea what they're in for. I didn't need you to murder it, but I'm not going to complain. Thanos, we're gonna have you we're gonna have you go on a bit of an adventure. The adventure is called Chase the General. And don't let that bitch ass get away. I'm working on truncating that title. Ah, here we go. Let's give this a shot. Could be 
be something on this one. Target down. Impressively fast shooting for somebody with one arm. Ah, another Templar cultist. Feigning knowledge of a power they barely understand. All right, team. Let's get this done. You can't run, and you can't hide. Shut up. Let's go for the stun. Hey. Gotcha, bitch. And shoot this gentleman. I said shoot him. I will not fail you again. Not the barrels behind him. I know. Common mistake, but still. And we can honestly just have him stand out in the open, because even if the hunter does shoot at him, he has this. Oh, look, a lovely Templar standing out in the open for you to shoot. Okay, just waiting. I hope that's not a problem. Just waiting. Just waiting. Make there we go. My day. What a buildup. The Advent General is getting close to their evac point. Don't let them get away. No, they're not. Central, they're literally right there. Are you blind? For the fallen! Okay, that works. Well, the unfortunate thing is that we did kill him, but that also took out Fenrir's cover. Wait, did we... We got a golden gun. Oh my god, we got a golden gun? Are you serious? Holy shit, yes. A located target assets. Well, there's another one down. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, he decides to shoot for the Templar that is currently nearby him and not for the skirmisher who is in absolutely no cover. Small, but effective. Ooh. You'll have to suffer a little longer. All right, XCOM. Show me what Got. She's bleeding out. She's alive. She's alive. But we just gotta finish this mission soon. So let's go do that. It's the armor. You caught my attention, Templar. It's secret agent sneak attack time, Ms. Lucia. Knock knock. Who's there? The door. How's about you suppress this man? Come on. Guess I better be out. more careful. Ooh, damn, Graydon, good shooting. I've killed everything that ever walked or crawled. You think they'll be any different? I mean, considering that we have a pistol pointed at your face right about now, yes. Get ridden. You got the jump on me this time. But now that I know you're serious, I'll make sure to give it my all next time. Wait, weren't there five people on this mission? Where's the fifth? Oh, they're still bleeding out. That's why. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, Fenrir is currently bleeding out. That would be why. And suddenly she's sitting up perfectly fine. I guess somebody patched her up. But hey, we did get Mr. Brightening as our first scientist. So that works just fine. 